All right, good morning students. Welcome back to another class of industrial techniques. And we are still um, continuing on our recap sessions. We're just running through some previous topics that we would have looked at while we were here and some that we may have discussed online. All right. Now today what we're going to be looking at is a topic known as conversion optimal. All right. We have already um, objectives already laid out for us right here. First objective, define conversion. Right? Then we're going to state the two methods of conversion, compare the advantages and disadvantages of each method, and we're going to evaluate the importance of conversion of timber. Alright, now, first objective. What is conversion? Alright, as you would all know, Based on your own knowledge, we are all brilliant students, brilliant individuals. Once you hear the word convert, you know that it involves a change, right? So it is the conversion in our case of timber. And basically what that is, is get it from this aspect. You know that our primary source of lumber timber is the tree, right? That is where we get our lumber from trees. But we can't just go ahead and root up a tree and transform it into furniture. No. It has to go through several processes. And one of those processes is conversion. Right? So the first stage is felling, as you would know. Cut down your tree. And that would result in you having what we call a log. Right? So even though our material has made its conversion from a tree to a log, that is not in essence the full um, process of conversion. Because we still can't go ahead and use this log and build it into our lavish um, furniture that we have inside our homes or our decorative parts. Right? So we have to go ahead and further convert this log into marketable or usable sizes and that in essence is conversion it is converting a log into marketable or usable sizes right so we would get from our logs are two by fours or four by fours different um types of boards and planks right and these would now then be used to create our different pieces um, of work. Right? So it's a conversion is converting our logs into usable or marketable sizes. Right? And you know we have several types of usable sizes. Alright, moving on. We just looked at the definition of conversion and you got a basic understanding of what it is now there are two main methods of conversion right these are going to be somewhat easy to differentiate based on their even name or type given to each method right the first method is known as plain sign right so first method is plain sign Second method is quarter sign. Now, stay with me. I'm going to be giving you some visual aid. With plain sign, imagine our log. As we said, that we're converting logs into usable sizes, right? So this is our log. When you hear the term plain sign, right, that should tell you that the method is somewhat simple and straightforward. So, all we're doing is we're cutting tangential, which in other words, we're cutting straight lines across the annual rings of the land. Right? So you would result in one piece of material there, one piece here, one piece 
here and here, here and you'll get your several pieces of timber to that method known as lane design right? hope you can see my diagram there Alright, our other method is quarter sign. First thing that should jump out at you is the term quarter. Right? Still working with our lab? Right? So that's our lab. But the main difference between plain sign and quarter sign is that when you're using the quarter sign method the material or lab is separated into four sections right so we're not only going tangential or straight across our annual rings like quarter sign we're going tangentially um we're putting in quarter right so it would result in something looking like this So now you can see that there is a distinctive difference in how you go about carrying out each method. Right? So we say with quarter sign, separate the material into four sections, right? And with plain sign, you just go straight across the block, right? Tangentially towards the annual rings. Now I know you may be wondering, right? Or you may be thinking to yourself that plain sign seems like a much simpler method. And if you are thinking that, you are most correct, right? You might be wondering, why would you go through all the hassle of cutting the timber into um, quarters and then you have to put all these different patterns and all that but there are several advantages and disadvantages of each method and we're going to be looking at that right now uh, first of all plain sign as we said it is simpler right and when, when you say that it's simpler that would seem to mean that you would need less skill to carry out this procedure or method is one advantage it would also result in um, less time being used which is another advantage right so it's it's less time consuming and a third advantage is that you waste a lot less of your material right? because as you look at it with our lines going tangentially right across our lap we get to maximize on almost all of this space that we have here. Huh? So we have three advantages right off the bat. It is easier, less time consuming, waste less material, and it is also cheaper, just to throw that one in there. So that's four advantages. Right? Now, for the disadvantages of plain sign, um, the main disadvantage of plain sign is that Based on how the material is cut, it results in weaker, um, weaker boards or timbers, right? Because it is cut in such a simple and um, a straightforward way. When you are doing your, if your material isn't seasoned properly, which we will get into in our next video, if your material isn't seasoned properly, you will have what we call defects. 
all right so you can go ahead and you can do your research on those two topics we're going to be looking at them in our upcoming videos or recapping those as well uh, seasoning and defects in timber so we said main disadvantage results in weaker material um, another disadvantage of this method is that it the boards that you get from this method plain side they are less attractive so you know when you go ahead and you look at some pieces of furniture and you can see all those beautiful grain patterns and it looks so appealing once you use the method known as plain side it doesn't really show off the pattern of the wood the first thing eh? it doesn't give you that aesthetic appeal so those are two disadvantages it results in weaker material and it is not attractive as attractive eh? so bear those in mind you can go ahead and make note of those eh? now on the quarter side when we look at quarter sign in comparison to plain sign we're going to be talking about this advantage first advantage right it is almost the complete opposite of plain sign just to put that in there so the first advantage is that you would result in stronger material or stronger pieces of wood coming from this lab and that is as a result of how the material is cut in the different quarters of the timber all right this would result in much stronger and durable materials. So that's the first advantage. Stronger materials. Second advantage is that it is very attractive. Now, when we say the plain sign doesn't show up the green pattern, that is what you need quarter sign for because it really emphasizes on the natural beauty of the material. And that is what you get from quarter sign. Alright? And those are two main advantages. You get stronger and more durable material, and they are also much more attractive. Alright? Now, to its disadvantages. If you look at this, the first thing that would come to your mind is wow, this looks complicated. And in a sense, it is more complicated than plain sun. And because of that, it will result in several disadvantages in a sense. First one is that you will need a much more skilled individual to carry out this, pro this process. Right? Secondly, it is much more time consuming to carry out this method. And third of all, it is more expensive. Right? So those are three general disadvantages of quarter size. It is, it takes more skill, takes more time, and it is more expensive. Alright? So, but that is just the price you pay for the quality of the material and the beauty of it when everything is carried out. Alright? So, we have just went through and we compared the advantages and disadvantages of each method. Now, I want you to go ahead and think about it. If you were going to construct a beautiful um, piece of furniture or work of art I want you to go ahead and think which one of these methods of conversion right, would best suit whatever it is you plan on creating and I also want you to think about why right? I'm going to be giving you that final assignment alright so moving on our final objective evaluate the importance of conversion and I want you to think about it and I want you to come up with their different reasons as well but I'm just going to put one one reason out there right without proper conversion we wouldn't get the quality and workable sizes of materials that we need to build our various pieces from Tim right and that is the general importance. Also, if conversion isn't carried out properly, what you will have is that the material that you get won't be as strong and they won't be as durable. And that would just end up with 
whatever you plan on constructing from timber wouldn't be as durable, it wouldn't last as long, it wouldn't be as attractive and you would run into several problems along the way. It would make things much harder. Right? And there you go. I want you to think about it. Now your minds are young and brilliant. You can come up with several more advantages of conversion. Alright? Alright? So let's run through and recap what we just looked at. Define conversion, which is um, our method or process of converting logs into multiple sizes. See the, the two methods, you have plain sign and quarter sign. We compare the advantages and disadvantages of each and we just looked at the importance of conversion. Alright? So guys, I want you to watch this video. I'm going to be posting assignments related to this. So ensure that you um, log into Smart Term and check for your assignments to ensure that you're keeping up guys and staying safe all right